Welcome back to the channel. This week's video, we have landscaping to do. I just wanna say thank you to all of our loyal subscribers and to those of you who watch our videos and consistently support our channel, thank you. If you're new to the channel or you've just clicked on this video, give it a watch. If you like it, consider subscribing. We appreciate you taking some time out of your day to spend it with us. So, in our previous videos, so at our very beginning, the first video, we sat down and talked to you guys about our plan for getting off grid to our property over in Toke. This has a huge part in that plan. Selling this house is a key ingredient to being able to move off grid. So we have to get this place set up. We gotta get it cleaned up, nice looking and finished so that we can maximize our profit when we sell this place. So let's get started with some landscaping. All right, well, as you can see, I've been bringing in gravel or what they call pit run here. And that's what's behind me right there. You can see I've spread it all out. I'm trying to fill in that hole. There was a really bad slope here. And now I filled in another hole back over here. And then let's see if you can see what I'm looking at here. I got a massive pile of gravel uh, right there. And I got, that's gonna fill in around the chicken coop, the dog kennel, and just make everything look clean. And then all of this yard, all of this yard, everything here, everything is gonna get topsoil. That's what the trucks are bringing next. We should be able to, I don't know, we're getting 12 yards in a truck. We're bringing, oh, five to eight trucks. I'm not exactly sure how many trucks we're gonna need, but that's what we got. So topsoil's next, and then I'll get that tractor to work and start spreading everything out. I really, the big thing was getting this pit run spread out, because if the pit run wasn't spread out, we couldn't get the topsoil here. Right there's the existing yard, and that just turns to weeds and garbage. So I'm, I'm welding up a harrow a uh, drag that I can drag behind the side by side or a four wheeler and get all this stuff tore back up, get it loosened up and leveled out. So, yeah, this pit run, you can see there's a couple of really big rocks in here. It's uh, really kind of a gra grab bag. What you get is what you get, but it'll all be buried. Looks like you're busy. Oh yeah, I'm busy. 
Well, you can see behind me, I got the gravel laid down here all around the uh, chicken coop area between the house and the shop. And uh, the yard is spread out as best I can do with the tractor. I have to build a drag or what they refer to as a harrow. And so I am gonna be welding that up. I already started partly on this harrow. So hopefully the lighting in here is okay. Oh, there we go. So I bought some steel and let me show you what I got going on here. I bought some steel and I just tacked it together right there. And then it's uh, five feet on each side. And I'll show you, I'll put a picture. I'll put a picture up of what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to copy one I found on the internet. It should be fairly easy. I don't know, but, uh, but I've got the steel, I've got the welder. I'm using a, here I'll show you. I'm using a Lincoln Electric uh, 180 weld pack. Just a fairly inexpensive welder. It's a 230 amp welder. I'm using flux cord wire because I just don't have the gas for it right now. And we'll piece this thing together, get it done. I want to get this yard dragged out so I can get it seated and hopefully finish this project. So I got the uh, one weld completed. I got to make two more welds on this piece and then move into the front piece. So this is the back piece I'm working on, but here's, I need to make that cut. And the same thing on this side, this cut. Oh, you can see that there. They're 22 and a half degree angle. And what I'm gonna do is Cut this section down with a with a uh, grinding wheel, and I'll cut it down here and here. And then I'll heat this up. I'll heat this up in and this way, and then I'll be able to bend this in. We'll see how it turns out. Like I said before, I am not a welder. I can stick two pieces of metal together. Almost anyone can. It may not look pretty, but it'll hold. All right, let's get at it. I don't think Vaughn's gonna be too happy. This is a brand new shirt she just bought me from her birthday yesterday. Oops. <laughs> Still a good shirt, right? got everything welded up now it's just a matter of piecing it all together and uh, I might have to I'm just trying to figure out all the sizes because I've made it much larger than uh, anything I could buy on the internet and uh, anyway so I'm kind of winging it but I'm getting it done
All right, so <clears throat> I found a drag, an ATV drag or a Harrow online, but they wouldn't ship it to Alaska. That's pretty common for up here. The companies, especially the bigger stuff, they just won't ship it. So I decided I'd make one. Here's what it turned out. It's bigger, heavier than what I could buy. So I think we're gonna give it a go and see. All right, well, let's give it a try. See how it works. Sometimes you just have to make do. Sometimes you just have to make things. That's part of living in Alaska. and smooth that looks. That's gonna be all grass. Gonna finish filling in over there with all the gravel. Smooth it all out, make it all pretty. It's gonna be fancy. Okay, so we finished the yard. This is the completed and seeded yard in the back. Hopefully this will all grow up here in a few weeks. And then you can see here, we got all the gravel laid between the chicken coop and the house. Chicken coop all the way over to the shop here. And We've made that all the gravel come in here and cleaned up all that. Now we do have a huge pile of gravel left here, or quite a bit anyway. We have a big pile of gravel left here that we'll figure out a place for it. Or when we sell the place and we move our uh, chicken coop and the dog kennel, we'll be able to uh, move the gravel in there and just make it one unified look and clean and nice. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked our video today and you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell so that you can get all the content we come out every new, every week. And we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.